Hey guys, it's Brian the Shaving Geek here with another episode of my shave of the day. Unfortunately today, I did not have a wonderful shave. Uh, it's been a long time since I have been able to utter those words and for that I am thankful. Um, but today unfortunately was just one of those days. In fact, it was one of those days where I couldn't wait for the shave to end. And I'm telling you, it's been a long time since I've had a day like that. So let's uh, take a look at what I used today and we'll kind of discuss what went wrong and uh, if you can help me out um, and kind of point me in the direction on some of the issues that I ran into today, I'd be glad to hear from you. Um, but today's shave was just a two thumbs down kind of shave. So uh, let's get right to it. Um, <clears throat> today because I was using a soap that is that has a reputation of being kind of hard to lather, uh, I went right to my trusty Plasson. Uh, what I found with this brush is if it can't lather a soap, the soap probably can't be lathered, at least in my den. Um, and so today I got this out because I wanted to give this soap uh, a fair shake. And unfortunately it just didn't work out well. Um, and so we'll talk about that in a little bit, but this was the, uh, the brush that I used. I also used a new razor today. And one of the things that I always try to do, if I'm using a product um, that is new to me, and it's one that I don't have an experience with, or it's, it's a product that maybe has a bit of a reputation uh, of being difficult or whatnot, um, I always try to change just one variable in the shave. Maybe it's the whole 6S kind of thing from work that's been drilled into me, I don't know. But uh, maybe I'm just anal retentive, who knows? But that's kind of my approach. So what do, what do I mean by that? So if I'm trying a new soap, and the soap has kind of got a reputation for being hard to lather, um, I will use a brush that I know works, a razor that I know is comfortable, a blade that works for me, um, and then you know I'll try the soap out. Um, or if I'm trying out a, a new brush, I'm, I'm going to use a soap that um, is fairly easy to lather, that I'm comfortable with, and then I would work my way up to harder to lather soaps with that brush. Um, and I would use a, a razor and a blade that I know works. Um, you know, if I'm trying out a brand new blade, uh, you know, I probably would use a brush and a soap that, I, that I'm familiar with. So, so just trying to change one variable at a time to make sure that I'm giving the product that I'm trying out um, a, a fair shot. So today, unfortunately, knowing better, but rolling the dice, um, I didn't do that. And so I tried a new razor today, um, and it, it, it just, it was just, eh, for me. Um, but I don't know if it was the razor or if it was the soap, and we'll talk about the soap issues, and then I think that may have contributed to the razor issues. But today I tried uh, this open comb uh, gem Micromatic that I got for my birthday. My mom and dad got this for me uh, for my birthday and I cleaned it up was excited to try it out. I have this in a closed bar um, the safety bar configuration and I enjoyed I really really do. Uh, to be honest with you open comb razors the double edge razors that I've used and a few single edge razor um, open comb varieties haven't always worked out very well for me. They have a tendency to be a little bit more aggressive uh, and a little bit uncomfortable on my face. Um, and so I should have known better today than to try this with the soap that I did, but I went ahead with it. And so my, my shave today was not very comfortable at all. Um, I felt like there was a lot of pulling, tugging. Um, it, just, it just wasn't a comfortable shave. Uh, I'm going to not hold it against this razor. I definitely think that it was the soap, and we'll talk about that again in a second. But again, that was just my experience. It just didn't really seem to work well. Uh, I do have this loaded with a brand new blade. It's uh, an uh, out of a blade uh, box that I got at um, Rite Aid or uh, drugstore of some sort. I don't know if it's CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, I don't remember. Uh, I believe it's made by American Razor Company or something along those lines is who manu actually is the manufacturer of the blades. But anyhow, that's the blade that I use in my single-edged uh, razors. And I've always gotten, I shouldn't say always gotten good good shaves, but on many occasions with my single edge, my gem, my gem junior, um, you know, I have gotten the gem featherweight. I've got excellent shaves with this blade. So I don't think it was the blade. Uh, I'm, you know, it might be the razor, but um, I think it was the soap. So that was the razor that I used today. 
uh, shave number one on that blade, brand new blade. So the soap, what was the soap? Well, the soap was none other than mystic water. Um, now I have heard that this soap has uh, this soap has a reputation of being a, a soap that people kind of have hit or miss um, luck with this soap. It's uh, some people can lather it very easily, and other people not so much. And and some people it seems like sometimes I can, and sometimes I can't. And it's just one of those kinds of soaps. At least that's the reputation that I have seen um, since I've been a member of of this community and, and involved in this hobby. Uh, and because of that. I didn't go out and buy a brand new puck or a brand new tub of this soap. Um, my brother uh, was able to buy a, a couple of soaps, asked me if I was interested in this one. I said, sure, I'd be glad to give it a, give it a whirl. And so it arrived yesterday. Um, now, from a scent perspective, whew, this is a great scent. This is everything that I want in a scent. Um, <clears throat> it is the it's a the sage and cedar um yeah cedar and sage scent and i get there's just a nice balance between the two i really really like this scent um the scent strength on it is probably in the six five six maybe even seven category not the strongest scent that i have in my den but by far and away not the weakest either i could smell this the entire shave i wasn't having to look for it i wasn't having to you know, sniff the brush or, or anything like that. I just enjoyed the aroma the entire shave. But unfortunately, that's the only thing that I enjoyed. Um, the, well, let's just, let me explain what I did. I bloomed the puck. I put some hot water on it, jumped in the shower, uh, got out, dumped the, the bloom water off of it. I took my Poisson, as, and this is the way I always do it. I take my Poisson, I don't soak my Poisson, I just dip it in the water. Kind of give a little bit of a squeeze and went to loading the soap. I loaded for about 30 seconds, as is my tradition. Loaded and went to the face and lathered it up. I thought I had generated a fairly good lather. I could see that it wasn't exactly uh, what I wanted in a lather. But, you know, I figured, well, I'll get it dialed in. But this looks like it's a shavable, passable lather. And so I went to shaving. Uh, now, when I shave, I usually will, will do this side, this side, and kind of alternate on the first pass, working my way towards the, the middle of my face. By the time I got to my upper lip and my lower lip, the, the lather was just about gone. And so I, I went ahead and powered through it, finished it up, and then I pulled up the Poisson and I looked at it. And it seemed like there wasn't hardly much soap in the knot. And so I squeezed what soap was out, there out, and it was airy, and there was no slickness, and, and there was no cushion whatsoever. And I thought, well, this isn't right. So I went ahead and grabbed the puck and uh, took my, my razor, I rinsed, or my, my brush, I rinsed it out. This time I squeezed the water out. I thought, well, maybe I got too much water. And so I loaded the, uh, went to loading it again. And this time I started kind of getting that marshmallow fluff consistency. So I add a little bit more water and continued to load un until, uh, again, about 30 seconds. Thought I had a very good load uh, in the brush. Went ahead, went to the face, uh, went to lather up, uh, lathered up, and I could just see that it just wasn't happening. Um, but I, again, I worked at it, worked at it, worked at it, added a little bit more water, whatnot, until I thought I got what was a passable lather. But it, it just wasn't. And I really, at that point, I should have Stop, put the soap aside and grab something else. Um, but I didn't. I went ahead and powered through, finished the shave. And like I said, it was two passes. I didn't do any touch-ups whatsoever. Um, I was just glad to see that shave come to an end. So I'm probably going to play around with this a little bit more, um, see if I can do some test lathering with it and see if I can get dialed in. But, but really, quite frankly, I have so many wonderful performing soaps here that I don't know if I really want to spend the time, effort, energy into trying to figure this out. Because after all, I've got these over here that I can lather in my sleep. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. And so for me right now, Mystic Water, I don't know as I'll ever try to acquire another tub of this. And you may see this up on a buy-sell trade group uh, soon. The only reason why I'm even considering trying to play around with it to see if I can get it dialed in is because I like the scent. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother wouldn't bother. To me, it just, again, I've got so much stuff that works great. 
Why? Why? But anyhow, on to my aftershave. I finished up with Fine Platinum uh, today. You know I love this stuff. This stuff is just great. I, it's just, whew, it's awesome stuff. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I was expecting to get a lot more burn um, just because of kind of the pulling, tugging that I had going on. And I didn't. Uh, you know, I had a little bit, but not much at all. So was very thankful for that. So that was my shave today. It was an eh shave. Glad it was over. But guess what? Tomorrow's another day and we'll have another go at it. I got some other awesome products that just came into my den. Uh, the reason why I didn't use them today is because I've used them before. And so I was kind of excited to try something new. Didn't really work out uh, as well as I had hoped. But hey, you have those days. And thankfully, they don't happen very often for me. Anyhow, this is Brian, the Shaving Geek, reporting live from my shave den, wishing you a lifetime of happy shaves and hoping that your shave today went better than mine did. Have a great day, everybody.